and at the same time we have been cutting crime by 14 per cent, Speaker, what we are actually doing is cutting crime uh, by 14 per cent. Is he said, we have been cutting crime by 14 per cent. Yeah. Inadvertently misled the House. On Monday, the 31st of January, the Prime Minister said in this place, we have been cutting crime by 14 per cent. And again on Monday, he said, what we are actually doing is cutting crime by 14 per cent. The Prime Minister told this House he said we are cutting crime by 14 per cent. The ONS found instead a 14 per cent increase in total crime, driven by a 47 per cent increase in fraud and computer misuse. I raised yesterday Erskine made resolutions of the House and the Ministerial Code, which all record the importance of the Prime Minister correcting the record at the earliest opportunity. I would ask him that this is five days on from the Statistics Authority's comments. Whether you have any guidance, Mr Speaker, on what counts as earliest opportunity, this doesn't feel that it is. The Ministerial Code also expects Ministers to abide by the Statistics Authority Code of Practice, which states people must be truthful, impartial and independent in their use of statistics. So given the Statistics Authority, whose job it is to be independent, impartial and truthful, has said the government is being misleading, uh, surely it is now a matter of basic respect for this House and for the standards that we all signed up to about not misleading Parliament that the Prime Minister should give us a response. Can I first of all say I am grateful to the Right Honourable Lady for giving note to the point of order. I can confirm that I have not had any notification or statement or any other response on this issue. Uh, in that, he must not succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point forward. Point forward, Chris Brown. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I hope the Prime Minister could just stay for a brief moment. Um, it relates to what he said about Roman Abramovich. I don't think that's a courtesy of the House when the Prime Minister leaves in that way. Go on, Chris. Go on. Is it relevant to this? I pointed that the Prime Minister has left the chamber because I did inform him that I would be making a point of order at the end of his statement.